Hi, first grade friend. Welcome to a new month. It is now the month of March. You just reviewed the 12 months in the year. How many months have we had so far in 2021? We had January, February, and now we're starting March. March is the third month of the year. So when you write March in number form, you will write the number three since March is the third month of the year. January, February, March. Let's look at our calendar grid for the month of March. Here at the top, it says March 2021. Today is Monday, the first day of March 2021. How can we write March in abbreviated word form? We're going to write the first three letters. So capital M for March, A, R, and then a period. This is how we'll write March in abbreviated word form. Let's look at the calendar cards we have for this month. Here's the first five. What do you notice about these calendar cards? Maybe you said something about time or clocks. You are so right. Let's zoom in on today's calendar card, March 1st. What do you notice about this card? Look at these hands. The short hand is called the hour hand and the long one is the minute hand. Where are they pointing? They're pointing up at what number? Yes, they're both pointing to the 12. When both the hands are pointing up at the 12, this is called 12 o'clock. There are also other ways people say 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock is noon. That's when it turns from morning to afternoon, so we could say noon. It's also the middle of the day, so we could say midday. There's also a 12 o'clock at nighttime when we're sleeping, or maybe you stayed up on New Year's Eve until this time called midnight. So 12 o'clock can also be noon, midday, or midnight. And it's 12 o'clock when both of these hands are pointing up at the 12. Let's look at another day. Tomorrow will be the second. Let's zoom in. Ooh, these hands are in different spots. Neither one of them are pointing up at the 12th. Let's look at the hour hand first. That's the short hand. Where is it pointing? It's pointing between two numbers. Which numbers is it pointing between? Between the 12 and the 1. You're right. It's halfway past the 12 and on its way to the 1. The minute hand, that's the long one, it's pointing straight down at the six. Okay, that's because the minute hand travels all the way around the clock, clockwise, every hour. So that way the hour hand can switch to the next hour. Let's focus again on the hour hand. I'm going to show you some examples. This clock only has the hour hand, the short one. Again, this hour hand is pointing halfway between two numbers. Which numbers is it between? The one and the two, good. So this hour hand is half past one. It was at one and now it's going towards two, so it's half past one. Let's look at another one. This hour hand is pointing this direction between these two numbers. Which numbers is it between? The nine and the 10, good. So the all of the hands on the clock travel this way. It's called clockwise. So this hour hand was pointing at the nine and now it's halfway past nine and getting closer to 10. So we would call this half past nine. Let's look at another. Which hour is this half past? Half past five, good. Can you say that? Half past five. Good job. 
Let's see, is there another one? Hmm. Which hour is this half past? Yes, half past 12. Very good. Let's look at some more half past times using this clock that has both hands. The long hand is the minute hand. It has a longer word, a longer hand. Then we have the short hand, which is the hour hand, okay? Do you know what time this clock shows? The hour hand is pointing here to the one, and the minute hand is pointing straight up at the 12, which we could also call o'clock. So this is one o'clock, okay? Let's look. As I move the minute hand, around the clock clockwise. Let's see what happens with this hour hand. I'm going to grab the minute hand and move it around the clock. And see how it's moving faster? But the hour hand, that short hand, is moving slow. I'm going to stop it here where it's halfway around the clock. Here it is. Okay, and then we can look at the hour hand. What do you notice? It was pointing at the one, and now where is it? It's half past the one. It's on its way to the two. So as the minute hand goes halfway around the clock, the hour hand goes halfway to the next hour. So this shows half past one. We could also say it's one thirty because in one hour, there are 60 minutes. And since it's halfway around the hour, half of 60 is 30 minutes. So this clock shows 1.30 or half past one. Let's do a few more examples. I'm going to rotate the clock to this time. Do you know what time this clock shows? It shows four o'clock because the hour hand is pointing at the four and the minute hand is straight up at the 12. This is four o'clock. Now, as I move the minute hand all the way halfway around the clock, what time is it now? The hour hand was at the four and now it's halfway past the four, halfway to the five. So this is half past four, or we can say 4.30 because the minute hand is halfway around the hour. If I keep moving this minute hand all the way back up, still going clockwise, look at the hour hand, it's moving towards the five. And when this minute hand, the long one, gets up to the 12, the hour hand has moved all the way to the five. What time does this clock show? It's five o'clock now. Very good. What if I move it again? Halfway. So down to the six. What time does this show? The hour hand is half past the five. So we can say half past five or 5.30. Good, let's do one more example on this clock. I'm going to rotate it, and notice as I rotate the minute hand all the way around, that hour hand is slowly moving to the next number. Okay, let's look at this clock. Right now, it shows eight o'clock. The hour hand's at the eight, minute hand straight up. I'm gonna move the minute hand halfway around the clock, and then the hour hand went halfway past the eight on its way to nine. So what time does this clock show? It shows half past eight because the hour hand is halfway past the eight. It also shows 8.30 because halfway around the clock is 30 minutes. So this shows 8.30. Now that we've practiced half past times, let's look again at calendar card for day number two. The hour hand 
is halfway past the 12. It's on its way to one. And the minute hand is pointing straight down at the six. So we could call this half past 12 or 1230. Good, 1230, and here it is in number form, 1230. We know it's halfway past 12 because the hour hand is between the 12 and the 1. And then this minute hand is making its way around the clock. And right here, it's halfway around. And it still has this other half to go. Great job today.